Chat, baby. Are the ads done? Are the ads done? Are the ads done, chat? <laughs> Listen, the dude Devo TV said, "What you said? My thumbnail guy is inconsistent, so it's hard to get momentum." Let me tell you something. I would have fired that nigga last, like last year. <laughs> I would have fired that nigga yesterday ago. Like the fact that you still even claiming that guy is insane. Couldn't be my thumbnail guy. I'm gonna tell you that much. I listen. It was once a time I fired my best friend. I would have fired my mom if I had to. My mom doesn't work for me. But y'all gotta understand what I'm about to say. This is about to be the most important game I'm about, I ever gave you in your life. And I don't give a fuck who's watching this. If you are on 110%, if you go 110% at shit in your life, whether it's a goal, whether it's how you learn, whether it's how you're growing, and you have 110% level of intensity and energy, not energy, but intensity, right? Because you're going to be tired and you get tired and whatever, but you it's your intensity, right? You work hard and you learn hard, you listen hard, you work hard, you whatever, right? Nobody around you can be 109%, 108%, 107, 99. They all got to be at least, well, matter of fact, let me be said. They all at least have to be 100% or higher. If I'm 110, I'm not, I, I cannot be around anybody who don't, who ain't uh, at least 100. I don't need no 70%ers, no 95% in, intensity people, some some timey people. I need the motherfucker that's 110%. You know why? It's an old saying. They say iron sharpens iron. You look at Mike Tyson, right? Why was he so great at a young age? He worked hard. He was good. His his coach used to be Custy Amato. Do the research on that nigga. He coached some motherfucking dogs. So when a dog meet a dog, iron sharpens iron. Game is game. If I'm a if I'm a sport, if I'm a basketball player. And I got a lazy coach, a bo a coach that bullshits. Kyo season, I appreciate the 22 months. I, like, you got to leave. You have to switch teams immediately. Change schools. I don't give a fuck with it. If you won 10, you got to change. You got to, like, something got to go. And I'm telling y'all so seriously, bro. It, it's, I'd rather be 110 and, and do it alone before I be 110 and tolerate some 65s and some 45s. I'd rather do it by myself. Because the moment I, I start hanging around them 45% people, them 55, them half assers and all that, I, I two things happen. Either they, they start to get up or I go down. And what y'all think is more likely to happen? Just just take a wild guess. What's more likely to happen? That they're gonna get inspired or motivated? Dog, 110 percenters don't get inspired and motivated. They're self-motivating. They're self-inspiring. Self-sustaining. I get my ass up in the morning. I don't fucking think about uh, Snoop Dogg or Michael Jack. Like I get myself up in the morning. I grind harder because of me. And at the end of the day, imagine this. I'm 110%, my editor 110%, my thumbnail guy 110%, my creative director 110%, my fucking personal trainer is 110%, my, let's name other shit, my, my barber is 110%, uh, my financial advisor is 110%, my, dog, I'm, I'm only gonna produce some bad ass shit, I'm only gonna produce top tier shit. And what y'all try to do, y'all know what y'all try to do? Y'all know what y'all try to do? This is the real problem. This is why this is an important game. Y'all, this is it's an old saying. It says, um, <clears throat> y'all try to bleed blood from a turnip. Do y'all know what that means? That's what y'all try to do when I'm taking about this 110% shit. You try to you try to bleed blood from a turnip. One of seven. Are ads running? Or if ads aren't running, I, I'm promise you, Blaze, you about to be timed out for ten minutes. So no ads, you get timed out. Nobody say ads at the wrong time. You're getting timed out. 
And if somebody does it after I say it, you're getting banned because I just said it. So if you're new to the chat, that's why I time you out because you probably didn't know. Just relax, right? When people who said, when I, what I mean by you try to bleed blood from a turnip, no matter how hard you squeeze a turnip, it will never bleed. It's always going to create turnip juice. You cannot squeeze blood out of a turnip. Do y'all know what a turnip is? That's a vegetable. So in case y'all, unless I could have said an apple, you try to squeeze blood from an apple. You can't. No matter how hard you squeeze an apple, it's gonna come out of apple juice. That's what y'all try to do. Hey man, this is my guy, and you know I want him to work hard. You cannot squeeze blood from an apple. No matter how hard you squeeze it and crush, it's always gonna produce apple juice. And that's why I accept with the hundred and ten percent lifestyle. I can't make you something you're not. You gotta, you gotta be that. You gotta have it already in you. And then, and then we can build from that. We can build on top of that, or we can make it more of what it already is. That's why iron sharpens iron. They didn't say iron sharpens fucking bricks. <laughs> they didn't say iron sharpens uh, plastic paper plates. Nigga, it's iron sharpens iron. So at the end of the day, right? This is just all about, like I said. When I didn't have, if you're in the chat listening right now, like, damn. Well, number one, problem number one is I don't have nobody around me that's 110%, number one. Or number two, I'm not even 110%. Or number three, I don't even know how to find 110% people. That'd probably be our three biggest problems after everything I just said. I thought I was making them better, but they was making me worse. Exactly. Exactly. Because you can't squeeze blood from an apple. But they're going to make you worse. You're, somebody going somebody going to shift and adapt. And honestly, the lazy people are the most stubborn. Lazy people and top, top people are the most stubborn. It's the extremes. Like, it's people in the middle change and get wishy-washy. But, like, if I'm, if I'm a concrete, consistent grinder, I have a zero tolerance policy. You know the fuck what? I just seen something. Let me show y'all something. I, I saved this article too when I seen it. Hold on. Do I still got it saved? Where the fuck is this article? Dog, I seen the article. Oh, I got it. I got it. I never deleted the article as a reminder to tell y'all what I'm talk talking about. And I saved this article like a, two months ago. Dog, this or, or actually it was released April 6th. And I just randomly seen it. This said, Dwayne Johnson fired his whole... Team after his disaster $112 million movie. He fired his whole team. Rather than sit there and try to get them to change and motivate them and inspire them and teach them and he fired the whole fucking team. Dog, that tell you that's a that's a that tell you something right there, bro. That tell you he don't fuck around. He don't fuck around. He don't wait. He has a zero tolerance for mediocrity. And he understood with a mediocre team, you get a mediocre result. With a great team, you get great results. But guess who is the most the most important person on your team is you. Because you either let bullshit slide or or contribute more greatness or more high level contributions. And if and if and if you are on your team and you mid and your team lets you stick around, you ain't really got a quality team, bro. I'm I'm gonna be honest. Your ass should be fired and done. Cooked. Could you put this in the dating aspect of relationship with friends? Um, hold on. Excuse me. I don't spend a lot of time with friends unless we are doing something of business or a purpose. I can call any friend I know right now and they will tell you they do not see me or hear from me on a consistent basis. Unless we got a group chat which we send memes and TikToks to or just shit that we think about. And then even if we're talking with a purpose. All my friends are doing something. Every friend I... Most, like, listen. If if they ain't... 
started a business or, or grinding in some way. They all my my whole class, I hate people I graduated high school with are graduating now. Law school, physician's assistant, um, um, pre med, going to, going to medical school. All I listen, all hundred and ten percenters who are not complacent. You can't even be my friend unless you got some kind of motion like that. Not 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 to say that I was your friend because of your motion, but what do we have in common? Like, <laughs> I'm a Martian. You a fucking Neptunian. Like, we don't even communicate. We don't. We can't. I, you won't understand me in the way I think and the way I live. Other people, guess what? They either be clingy. They they'll be too, they have too much free time. Like my friends, we coexist on a on like a kind of low maintenance kind of basis because they're equally busy. If they was in the crib all day bored, they would probably hit me up. Yo, bro, what's the move? Yo, bro, we here? Yo, bro, we doing this? Couldn't be my friend for long. I'm going to tell you that much. My friends come with ideas. They smart. They got motion. Dog, I'm telling you. Can't even be my friend. And guess what? You said friendships and relationships. You can't even be my woman. A lot of y'all will stick y'all dick in anything. Y'all dick mean nothing to y'all. All she gotta do is be pretty. She got the dick. Yeah, okay. Let me play this clip I put on my Instagram, man. <laughs> yeah, okay. Y'all remember that clip I put on my Instagram post? What picture was it? This one. Watch this. Watch this shit. Fuck the motherfucker. These bro, come on. Somebody says you supposed to. Lie to them, they lie to us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No sound. Yo, it just, it literally just had sound, bro. Are you trolling me? I'm literally getting trolled right now. Let me pull it up. Because he's going to make a statement about. Oh, y'all stick y'all dick in anything. Be lying like a motherfucker to these bro. Come on, somebody says you're supposed to lie to them, and they, they lie to us. Man, anytime you start lying to a bitch, you building that relationship on some weak shit, and you're going to always be scared because you ain't going to be able to stand up because you're building shit on a motherfucking lie. Come on, man. Why would you want to do some shit like that? Tell, tell some bitch some lie so you can fuck her. Oh, <laughs> That's right. You, your dick don't need shit. To you. Let me tell you something. My dick made a couple. And every time I go up and down, it's a pussy. Some of that goddamn gold scrape off and stay in that pussy. You think I want to give that shit away? Man, they got to pay for the little bit of gold they get. And if they ain't getting my motherfucking books or whatever the fuck I need, they ain't getting no gold. Come on now. It's, chat, it's just a different world. Like when you like when you live in the world of loserville and I'm a loser and I suck and my life means nothing to me and I hate myself, like we like the world is just different to you. Like you just live in a different world, man. Like I just don't know how to explain it, bro. I don't know how to explain it. But that was I'm surprised y'all don't even know who that is, but that's the American pimp. That's Rosebud. That's Rosebud the American pimp. A lot of y'all too young, man. A lot of y'all too young, man. Come on now. Y'all niggas come in here and say shit like, oh, Todd, you ever been on a drought? Why would it be called? Going without sex is a drought? What? What the fuck? She left me. I lost her. Like, bro, y'all are losers, man. We don't talk like that in the, in, in the world of winners. We don't talk like that. That's weak shit. That's weak. You you stick out like a sore thumb. You you. you Bam, I like a red flag when you talk like this. Because it's not language just we use. It's not words that's in our vocabulary. 